just looking at the standard of people in there, I'm like, how do you exist? How do you how do you look at yourself every day in the mirror and go like, I'm happy staying like this for the rest of my life? Like, don't you want to improve? Don't you want to become better? You know, you don't have to be in the gym six days a week. It can only be two days, right? You don't have to be meal prepping like me um, every week, right? But you can, you know, you can switch to healthier alternatives, higher protein alternatives, um, get the diet in check, right? You don't have to count all your calories, but, you know, you can you can eat vaguely healthy and, you know, obtain a healthier, more athletic body composition, right? You don't have to be a Olympia caliber Mr. Mr. Olympia classic physique champion, right? You just have to be lean, athletic looking. And I think everyone can achieve that with the right with the right um, education, dedication, commitment, consistency. Right? But they just don't. Which is making it a lot easier for me, right? I don't have to work as hard to set myself apart from, from all these degenerates, right? So I'm not complaining, right? In fact, I, I want I want there to be those degenerate people to, so it could set me apart from the rest. But, you know, I'm a nice guy, okay? I'm trying to, I'm trying to help the peeps. I'm trying to, to help the people because a lot of people are in need of some guidance. People are fat. They don't want to talk to the opposite gender. They don't have any... They can't sit alone by themselves and really think with their own thoughts. You know? They're just a cog. And, you know, it's okay to be a worker and a cog. Sit a nine-to-five. You know? You need jobs like that. You need you need people who will follow take orders. Um but that's just not me, right? Like a society has its hierarchy. There's a whole point of a hierarchy where the middle of the hierarchy and the lower parts do all the kind of grunt work, right? Someone needs to, someone needs to pick up the trash on the street. Someone needs to, to have uh, deliver these these items, right? That's fine, right? Um, but just not for me, right? Someone needs to be those degenerates, you know, because the polarity, polarity of it, as in, if everyone was a, a six foot three gym guy, 200 pounds lean, then that'd be the new norm. Then it would not be a rare commodity. It would not be a desired thing. That's just the new standard. That's just how, this is how life works. It's a hedonic, hedonic treadmill. Um, I don't know, like, that's why it's, it's good. It's good that there's those degenerates, man, because it sets, sets me and myself apart, which is very selfish, but, well, realistically, I can only think in my own head because humans are inherently short-sighted. If you study economics, you would know that. Um, yeah, like, as I said, you don't need to be the best of the best, right? And some people will never be able to be the best of the best. Because being the best means you have good genetics, but also you work really hard, right? There's a lot of people with good genetics or good predispositions, but they don't work hard. So they don't even make it half of the way, right? I've been lucky enough to be blessed with decent height, decent looks, right? Could, I could just sit back, relax, enjoy my life, you know, hit up, hit up easy to get girls, you know, but no, like striving for, to be the best version of myself and be the best in general is, is how I want to go about it. It's how I want to do things, man.